just wanted to make another video for you. Um, decided to change up the background a little bit. I'm a Deadpool fan from back in the day, way before the movies were ever made, um, just from reading the books. Um, decided to give Wolverine a little break. Those are my two favorite comic characters, are Wolverine and Deadpool. Something about the healing factor um, superpower that they have. But anyway, um, we're going to talk a little bit more about angles and lines today, um, but I did want to show you something... Um, the way these things are usually presented to you guys. Um, in these kind of pictures like this, um, they, they you'll a lot of times you'll see like a group of lines or line segments thrown together like this, and then they want you to talk about the relationships between different lines. So that's kind of what I wanted to do today, is just kind of talk briefly about um, <clears throat> some of the relationships between these lines when they kind of throw them all together like that. It's kind of a jumbled mess. Um, so for example, if I were to look at line K, okay, which is that line there, not that squiggly line, but that line. Um, when I look at K, and then I say, well, what, can I identify another line that is perpendicular to that line? All right, so what I would do is I would look here, and I don't see any of those little boxes that we talked about to show the 90 degree angle. So I would be very questioning of, is this actually a... 90 degree angle. It looks like it. Um, it's not labeled the way it should be, but it definitely looks like it is. Um, and so I would say that line K and line M are perpendicular to each other. All right. Also, I would say, um, give you the question of, you know, which two lines within this picture here are parallel lines. Now remember, parallel lines comes, come in sets of two. You can't have a single parallel line. You have to have two lines. Same thing with perpendicular lines. You have to have two lines to be perpendicular. So what two lines are um, parallel in this case? So if you look at that, I'm going to say, well, I think that if I look at M and I look at L, okay, those two lines appear to be parallel. So I would say lines M and L are parallel. So that's what the question actually was on this problem was, you know, in which line is parallel to line L? So there's L, and we would say that line M is parallel to it. All right. Um, also, you could say, well, you know, where, uh, what are some lines that are intersecting? And there are a bunch of intersecting lines. I could say that line T and line P intersect, okay, because they intersect right there. All right. And I could also say that line T and line L, they intersect right in that same spot. Okay, the same point, I should say. Um, I could say that line T and line K intersect right here. Um, and it just goes on and on. And that that's really all you need to be able to identify is just like within different pictures with a bunch of lines kind of thrown together, like the relationship between the lines is parallel and perpendicular and intersecting. They might also ask you, you know, to identify angles within this. Um, so I might say that, oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know how I want to do this. Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay. Sorry about that. So I might say that like, um, you know, what kind of angle do you see? And we're going to give this a name right here. And we're going to say that that is, um, S. This is point S. So I might say, well, angle TSP, okay? So TSP, okay, I don't know why that didn't show up. TSP, there we go. Um, so I'm going to put my little angle symbol here that we talked about in our other video. Angle TSP is what? So what type of angle is that? Is it acute, is it obtuse, or is it a right angle? Well, I can look at this and I can look at that and see that it is less than 90 degrees. So if it's less than 90 degrees, it means that it is an acute angle. Okay. So angle TSP is acute. Now, on the flip side of that, um, I could say, I don't know, let's see. I got to fiddle with this a little bit. If I were to put. L, and let's label this one uh, as G, okay? 
So I've got angle L, G, K. Okay. So say angle, and we're going to say L, G, K. And then I want to identify L, G, K. Is that acute, right, or obtuse? Well, we already said that we thought that this right here was a perpendicular lines, okay, that L and K were perpendicular. So that means that LGK has got to be a right, uh, a right angle, okay? All right, hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, I'm going to just stop there on that one and just kind of leave that as it is. Um, I am going to have you guys doing some school net stuff maybe um, next week. Um, looking at some of these things and then also we're going to start talking about classifying shapes but um, it'll be in the form of a quizzes or a school net not sure yet um, as the, at this point when I'm making this I'm not sure what yet what I want to do but um, just kind of be looking for this stuff refer back to this video when you're trying to find angles or trying to find <clears throat> parallel and perpendicular lines within a group of lines at like this hope it helps see ya